Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. I've had a lot of requests to put the USS Yamamoto, or the Flying Tomato, against the Federation class. As we've seen in previous videos, the Federation class is a pure battleship, and so is the USS Yamamoto. The question is, which ship is better? Let's find out. Okay, so we're going to start off in the USS Yamamoto, which is colossal. This ship is absolutely huge. Let's fire quad, so we can fire eight. They can also fire eight. Ooh, we collapsed the forward shield, that's good. However, we have taken some damage as well. Too close to do a quad burst, so I'm gonna do this. Are they just gonna fly right into it? Oh no, they missed! We've taken some damage as well, we've lost some phasers. Good job we have about 50 phaser arrays on this ship. Okay, the torpedoes have disabled. Oh! Hey, look at that, it's turned into one of those single nacelled ships. <laughs> Whoa, look at that! That's so cool! You know, there was actually a discussion in the comments section about this. If there's a source of separation in an emergency, would that one warp nacelle detach? And look at that, I think that's a good theory. Well, I almost feel like they didn't really get a chance there. We didn't really engage, so I'm going to try it one more time, and then I'm going to do it the other way around. Just like to quad. Oh, we are drilling through them. The top shield has our forward shield is draining. I think our phaser array is vastly superior. Although we have four warp nacelles, they have three. We've destroyed their impulse engines. Oh no, they're disabled. And their warp engines! Oh, there they go. Has it happened again? It has! It's almost like an escape pod! Isn't that interesting? There we go, got the warp core. Right. Let's try that the other way around. Okay, we have to get a better result, don't we? The Federation class. So I don't think we can take as much damage as them, but considering the size of the ship we're against, Captain, Ugh, not much of a surprise. Impulse engines have been disabled, sir. What? Impulse? What? What? Our impulse engines have gone. Oh my goodness. I don't think we can do an emergency. Re oh, we can't. Okay. Impulse engines. Engineering teams are on their way. We've lost our aft photons. We can still fire, though. Just... I've lost complete control. Oh no. Hey, look at that. It's done it again. Oh no, it's going to collide. Hey. That's interesting. I think we're well and truly... Okay, let's try and use some tactics now. Let's fire the photons. And then... In system warp. Oh cool, we got the uh, original series warp sounds as well, that's cool, isn't it? Ah, oh, rats! They all missed! That's not very good, is it? That's too far out. Oh no. <laughs> wow, the Yamamoto is just a beast. It's absolutely massive. We've got a lot of photon torpedoes though, so I'm not afraid of wasting any. 
We're going to have to use some Kirk tactics here, I think. Ooh. Come on, come on. Hey. Gosh, I thought that was our phasers. It's not, it's theirs. What? What happened? <laughs> oh dear. You're not Miguel. Oh, we've lost him so. We should return to Wow, that's the most intelligent statement you've ever made, Safi. Oh. Ooh, what's going on here? But they had hundreds of cameras set up waiting for that. Well, there can be absolutely no contest there. The USS Yamamato is the clear winner. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.